work quite hard or was that actually as easy as it looked because it looked like an absolute pleasure um dressage is never easy i can tell you that <laughs> um you know it's always a challenge have you done enough have you done too much out there i thought we probably done a little bit too much he was mm. a bit heavy on the rain out there but then actually you know he lifted when he came in here he heard the clapping from boyd and and then he was really, really lovely to ride. No, he's, you know, he's a, a, a real professional now. And I, what, what I'm really delighted about is last year he came in there and he found the camera quite spooky. Yeah. It took a while for me to get round it. I mean, he was then quite good when he got in there. But today I went in and he just went straight past. Didn't even it. look so at it. Yeah. Just shows how much he's come on in a year as well. Yeah, he looks so elastic. I mean, we obviously he did that beautiful test at Burley, but that one today looked even more. Did it? Oh, yeah. good. I hope so. Well, I suppose yeah. I'm starting to get confidence in the yeah. way in riding him a bit more like that as well. And um, yeah, no, delighted. But any bits that particularly stood out to you? And I mean, it was all fantastic. Uh, on an I was really but... pleased with his balance and his medium extended trots actually, because yeah. he's got. He's, he's got quite a narrow wheelbase <laughs> and so sometimes he feels like a little bit um, young and wobbly in those because everything comes out quite a small hole but today he felt really stable in those and and really in balance so that was lovely and looking ahead to tomorrow obviously he comes in as the reigning champion we've got a wetter year and and a, quite a different course by kind of everyone's sort of what, what everyone's been saying about it how does your kind of understanding and reading of the course compare to what you had to deal with last year yeah, I mean, he, he always is along similar lines in mm. kind of opposite to corners, curving threes, curving fours. Do you go three strides? Do you go four strides? That's generally the theme, and, and that's no different this year, but obviously a very different start, which I think is quite an interesting start. We don't normally see that, you know, in the trees, fence one off a turn very quickly, yeah. fence two very big with a drop. Um, feels a bit like arena eventing at the yeah. beginning, you know, so that will be a completely different thing. Um, but you know, I mean, is a lot is desperate to jump between the flags nowadays. He he really is. Um, it, it is just all about if something else takes his eye, either which stops him from being able to see the fence or takes him off his line. I, I know he wants to do the job for me. The ground conditions would definitely, you know, put a question mark in my mind. Um, last year he was held, you know, it was top of the ground. So um, that enabled me to be fast at the end. Um, be interesting to see how he copes with, with tomorrow. We're still kind of on a fact-finding mission with him, I'd say, you know, sometimes we have good days, sometimes we don't. So, um, you know, we'll enjoy today, I think. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Do you think it might, I mean, I don't know, even know if you'll be able to answer this question because he's such an interesting horse and it, as you say, it's fact-finding all the time. But do you think having quite a busy start like that might actually suit him because he's really going to have to be thinking about the job in those first fences where he might be more inclined to see something shiny and go, oh God. Um, I'm not sure I know the answer no. to that. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, sometimes with Isaac, you, you, it's, like, it's like at Burley, I mm. predicted he would spook at the stones on the left. Yeah. And he spooked at the flower pot on the right. right. You know, so yeah. I just, I just don't know. I think my job as a rider with him has to be that I ride like he's not going to spook. Okay. Yeah. And if he does spook and I can deal with it, great. If I can't, then I can't change his personality. I can't change who he is. Sure. Um, so I just kind of have to go in with the confidence that he's going to stay on his eye, mm. um, and then and go from there. Really, yeah. such a split second thing with him. Sure. <laughs> you never quite know which, which way you're going. <laughs> and what's he been up to uh, between Burley and, and now to sort of the season? Uh, I haven't changed anything. Yeah. I was really, really happy with Burley as a whole. Yeah. Really happy with how he came out the start box, mm. with how he went through the main arena. He felt as settled and as confident as he's ever felt. I was really happy with the way he jumped the rail. I was yeah. happy the way he took off over the ditch. It's just he then happened to yeah. jink sideways and at five star you can't afford to do that. So I haven't changed anything particularly. I've just kept working away. He's had a, fair, he's had a few more gallops. The ground, we gallop on grass and the ground's been very good. Mm. So it's enabled me to up his fitness a bit, a bit actually. Um, but that's it, yeah. No, I'm, I'm happy with the way he is going. It's just, you know, on the day whether we stay on the line or not. Hopefully he remembers the happy time he had here last year and, you know, has 